So, hello and welcome to uh, Film Mixologist. <coughs> Today I've received a parcel, uh, so we're gonna start taking it apart and see what have we got inside it. Let's put this handle with care thing, then I'll do handle with care. Oh, look at that! This is interesting. Somebody sent me a card on an Edelbrook box. Alright. So, let's have a look. This looks like bits of a of an Edelbrook kit. Always handy to have. But I'm more interested in yes, exactly. In what's inside here. That's what I thought it was. Now, ooh. This looks a bit rough. The smell. Mmm. It's quite overpowering actually. Okay, so let's just bang in some newspaper here. And let's take this out. And all sorts of bits inside the box. Handy. Alright, so. So what have we got here? What we've got here is a very rare uh, list 14841. So this is a a 465 CFM carburetor. Now <coughs> this sort of carburetors have a couple of a couple of <coughs> <coughs> interesting things. That they're the ones that have this design here. If you, if you look at most other carburetors, like for example this one, in whatever capacity, they would have this kind of sharp, sharp edge here. Well, these are rounded carbs. So that's one. And also the other, the other interesting thing about these carbs is that they have what I call the intermediate base plate. So. It is a base plate that is not the 600 CFM and it's not the 390 CFM which is the smallest one of the lot. This is a this is a specific bespoke base plate for this sort of cards. So that's why uh, if for example the the throttle plates for some reason are not working or, or they've, they've, they've perished or or that kind of stuff. It becomes very difficult to fix these carbs because everybody thinks that um, that they would use the the, the standard um, 600 CFM uh, base plate, and they don't. So, for example, here you can see. Look at this. This this have a huge hole in them. So obviously, I'm going to have to replace them. Luckily, I do have 107, 107 plates, so they're, they're, they're going to be replaced. That's not a problem, but it would be a problem if you try to, if anybody else would try to use this. So, let's see if we can tear into this cup a little bit more, see if we can see any, any other surprises. Now, already I can see that there is some material here, I don't know what it is, so that would need attention so let's have a quick look if we can take this out um, obviously you can't obviously you can't smell it from there but um, smells quite musty like um, like if it had a lot of um, you know when when old fuel goes bad that it goes a, like a like a, of a lacquer consistency 
see. Oh dear. Is this okay? Mm hmm. Okay. That seems to be. Okay, so inside it's not gonna be great already, I know that. So let's try and see if we can get the rubber mallet. Um, I'll give it some. Seen that? Great. Okay, so this would need. Um, shall we say? A fair bit of attention. You can see it there. There you go. Uh, I'm not looking that great. <laughs> All right. So let's tear into this fuel bowl, into this accelerator pump. Sorry. Uh, I don't think we're going to find anything particularly groovy in here. Uh, but just I need to do this. Now you have to be careful when disassembling cups like this not to try not to breathe uh, too much of this stuff because you don't know what sort of chemicals it's, it's got or not have. Uh, great, so already as you can see there is a little bit of, a, of an issue with one of the One of the screws. So let's have a look whether it's a question that somebody lost the screw or if I get an original one will I be able to make it fit. Okay that that is something that would need to be uh, resolved. Uh, so yeah, so this doesn't doesn't look massively fab. Uh, uh, when I might try and take the secondary off, uh, I don't think it's going to be any better. So now I can see why uh, the person. It bought an edible carburetor uh, because this one wasn't in that great a shape to be honest um, This unit might need a little bit of persuasion. Gentle persuasion. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but probably this is this is what I was smelling. This here, this like goo in there, that that's like probably residue of old fuel. Um That's not gonna work. So th this guy wasn't gonna work, evidently. <sighs> okay. Now, one one thing about this unit that really attracted me to it is the fact that it has a secondary metering block, and that's quite a rare thing and valuable thing as well. This seems okay, good enough, sort of. Uh, okay, so rubber hammer, and uh, let's try and see if we can 
persuade this bit there you go good enough whoa ouch look at this